When I'm assembling a batch of boards with my pick and place machine, I often end up with a whole bunch of PCBs which are partially assembled and they've got to go through a series of steps. The usual way that's handled in the factory is you use a tray like this. So what this is made of is a material that's static dissipative, so if you put parts in it then you don't get a um, build up of static on it. And these are also cool because you can put them straight into something like an ultrasonic cleaning machine and clean the boards. So you just stack the boards into little slots like this. You can also turn it over the other way and it's got a different type of slot on the other side. These sorts of trays come in a couple of different styles. I bought a couple of these while I was in China and I need some more. But I also want them to be slightly smaller. So what I'm going to try doing is making a few of these by designing them in Fusion 360 and then laser cutting them out of MDF and painting them. I think what I can do is make some little trays that will be more convenient for the sort of size I need. They're not so big, so I can have a few trays on the bench. What typically happens is that the board comes out of the pick and place machine and then reflow and it'll have all the surface mount parts on it, but it doesn't have the through hole parts. So what I have to do is have all of the boards prepared, uh, solder on the through hole parts, put them into the next tray, and then after that they have to go through testing. Typically I'll grab a test jig based on whatever the product is that I'm doing. So I just use the test jig to test the board and then put it onto a pass or a fail tray. So what I need is multiple trays so that I can start with the boards at one step of the process and move them from one tray to the next. Now I quite like this overall design and it's really ideally suited to laser cutting because it's basically just a whole series of flat plates. What I'm going to do though is make a version that's equivalent to half of this. I don't want four rows of verticals, I just want two and I'll make them slightly further apart. This one is about 37 millimeters at the moment, so I think I might make it about 50 millimeter spacing. And these slots are on 15 millimeter centers, which is fine. So what I'm going to have is a series of slots which will be on 15 millimeter centers. And the current slots are three millimeters wide, which is okay, but the problem is that a typical PCB is 1.6 millimeters, and so it flops around. That's fine if you want to have them all leaning backwards or something, but I think I'd like them a little bit tighter than that. So I think I'm going to go for two millimeter uh, spaces on those slots, and I'll just copy the depth. Looks like it's about eight millimeters, so eight millimeters depth around the edges. And so what I'm going to do is make a couple of verticals, one horizontal as the base, and then for handles I'm going to cut pieces that will slot into the end. Overall I'm going to make it a bit shorter as well. So I'm going to end up with a series of smaller racks. That'll just give me more flexibility in how I use them. Now we've got our design ready to go. I'd made these different colours just so that you could see the difference, otherwise they all tend to blend in together. But what we've got is a side, an end piece, which I can also put little labels on. There's a base, and they all interlock with these tabs. I've come over to Chris's place to use his laser cutter because it's a lot bigger than mine and more powerful, does really nice cuts. 
So hopefully we'll get some good results out of this. Chris's laser did a great job of it. I cut enough pieces to make five trays. This is just the parts for one. And they fit together really well. There's a very small kerf on that laser, so these tabs fit beautifully. And uh, you can see there there's the base and one of the sides in place. And then the handle is going to go in the end. I'm just going to glue all this together now with some PVA glue. We'll let it set overnight, come back and paint it. As I'm putting this together, I just realized that what I really should have done while I was working with the laser cutter was make a jig that fits over these pieces and holds them all in place while they are gluing. It would make it so much easier to put this together. What I'm going to have to do is just put some weight down on this now. Maybe I'll, um, I don't know, use, a, use some solder. That seems like a reasonable weight. And then put something down on here to hold it down. And then I'm going to have to let it just sit for however long it takes for the PVA to dry. But what I could have done is made little laser cut brackets that fit over the top with slots in it and that hold these at the correct position. Then when it was finished drying I could just take them off. Oh well, maybe next time. If I make more of these trays or if I do a revised version I'll design a little clip that goes over the top to make this easier. In the meantime I'm just going to let this sit here. Well the glue is now dry on this tray. So we can chuck a couple of PCBs in here and it works exactly as intended. Now I need to uh, put some undercoat on it and then I'm just going to paint this gloss white. I'm not going to make you watch me do that, so let's go for undercoat and then we'll go for gloss white. Oh, very nice. Now I can just chuck these in and very handy little tray. Now with a few boards loaded in it, I think this might be not too well balanced because it's so narrow. It might be better with the handles up higher, so if I end up revising this, I think what I might do is redesign it so that the end comes up a bit and then maybe have the handles elevated so that you're holding it higher relative to the centre of mass of the load. It might be a bit more stable. Having a good supply of these trays is going to be really useful because what I can do is have boards queued up here do you know, the through hole assembly, move them across to here and have everything nicely organised so boards don't end up sitting on top of each other, things don't get scratched and I can move them around and keep them organised. I'm going to put the design files for these up online because they might be useful to other people and I'll probably improve it a little bit over time as well. I might do a wider version which is good for wider boards because it'll be a bit more stable and uh, this is a really quick and easy project to make. If you've got access to a laser cutter, uh, it doesn't have to be your own, maybe your local hacker space, just get some MDF, cut it, glue it, paint it, and you're done. So, these are going to be really, really useful. Now, go and make something awesome.